today's devotional can be found in Ether, chapter 12, verse 33. And again, I remember that thou hast said thou, that thou hast loved the world, even unto the laying down of thy life for the world. That thou mightest take it again, to prepare a place for the children of men. Okay. So God loved the world that he allowed his only begotten son to descend from the throne on high and live as a mortal and be born as a mortal live as a mortal suffer as a mortal and die as a mortal at the gateway to eternal life to celestial salvation might be open for us if we do the work to understand it if we prepare to understand it and if we desire it I mean, we're all children of God, but the moment we became born on the earth, we became children of men as well. And we can't prepare a place, we can prepare a place for ourselves, like, in the eternities, according to our preparation, our, our desire to understand in the actual amount of effort we put into understanding the blessings we stand to receive. But we couldn't access that without the atonement. We really couldn't because we're so imperfect. We couldn't die for ourselves. Because it would be a, a mockery. No. A perfect being had to do it. And Christ is the only perfect being out there. so much. Jesus Christ is our elder brother. And like an older sibling protecting his younger siblings and doing things for them that they might be able to do better things with their lives. Christ went through mortality. Endured its highs and lows gracefully. And paved a way paved access to information, paved access to opportunities that we might be able to achieve the highest degree of eternal glory someday if we want it. It's there. It's freely offered to us. And I mean, the world was not kind to Jesus Christ either. It might be so much, like, it might be too easy if
Choice. You cannot choose the consequence, so once you make an act of 